you say that I've been cursed? You say that I've been cursed and that there's a demon living inside of me. You say that I've been cursed and that there's a demon living inside of me because I choose to keep it there. You say that I've been cursed and that there's a demon living inside of me because I choose to keep it there, but you can help me. I say, is that so? You say the demon chose me. You say the demon chose me because my soul is weak. You say the demon chose me because my soul is weak and it's my fault that it's there in the first place. You say the demon chose me because my soul is weak and it's my fault that it's there in the first place because I sinned. I sinned to receive it. You say that I don't pray enough. You say that I don't pray enough because I've turned to convenient mainstream spirituality. You say that I don't pray enough because I've turned to convenient mainstream spirituality and that it's rotted my brain. You say that I don't pray enough because I've turned to convenient mainstream spirituality and that it's rotted my brain, but you can heal it. Okay. How? You push me to my knees. You push me to my knees by my head to the cross. You push me to my knees by my head to the cross by my hands to the Holy Bible. You push me to my knees, by my head to the cross, by my hands to the Holy Bible, and scream, repent. I scream. You say, ask God for forgiveness. You say, ask God for forgiveness, for my soul is tainted. You say, ask God for forgiveness, for my soul is tainted, and I have brought this upon myself. You say, ask God for forgiveness, for my soul is tainted, and I have brought this upon myself, and now he is the only one who can fix it. Help me. I whimper. You say, take these scriptures. You say, take these scriptures and study them. You say, take these scriptures and study them day in and day out for they're my only hope. You say, take these scriptures and study them day in and day out for they're my only hope and they will save me. I take them. I take them and I study them. I take them and I study them day in and day out for they're my only hope. I take them and I study them day in and day out for they're my only hope and they will save me. But they don't. They preach that I'll see better days. They preach that I'll see better days and that God has a plan for me. They preach that I'll see better days and that God has a plan for me and I just need to wait. They preach that I'll see better days and that God has a plan for me and I just need to wait for him to answer. So I wait. I wait and I sit and I wait. I wait and I sit and I wait for him to answer as the days go by, as the months go by, as the months turn to years and the years turn to decades and the decades seem to resemble something that looks more like a blur than the lifetime that I once knew. Oh, the days, the days, the days. You tell me to look forward to the days ahead, but I'm still stuck in the days behind while trying to get through the day that is today. Today, today I struggled. Today, I felt the weight of the world on my shoulders sink deep into my bones, past my soul, and straight into my heart. I felt my anxiety and worries collect into a ball and lodge in my gut. I watched through glossy eyes as the sky passed by and my people stood high with smiles on their faces. And I wondered, I wonder, if I were to flip my skin inside out, what would they see? What would they say when they see what they see? Would they say that I've been cursed? Would they say that I've been cursed and that there's a demon living inside of me? Would they say that I've been cursed and that there's a demon living inside of me because I choose to keep it there? Would they say that I've been cursed and that there's a demon living inside of me because I choose to keep it there, but they can help me because I sinned, but they can heal it if I scream repent, but now he's the only one who can fix it, but they will save me, the scriptures will save me if I just wait for him to answer. So I wait. Thank you.